guys, welcome to Kristen Kelly TV. Today I'm going to be going over some questions that you guys had on Snapchat. So if this is something you like to watch, please continue. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, leave me any comments, and let's get into it. Okay, so I asked on Snapchat, my Snapchat is Miss Chris Kelly, if you guys had any questions, and I did get a bunch of responses, so let me go over what you guys had to ask. So this person asked, have you talked to Dave since the breakup? I have not talked to Dave since maybe like three months. So the last time I spoke to him on the phone, I would say was probably about three months ago. I have talked to a friend of ours, a mutual friend, because there was like some things that, um, you know, just final bills and things like that. So I had talked to a friend of his, but I have not spoken to him probably three months, which is kind of weird because we were together for four years. And yeah, I don't know. It's strange that I haven't spoken to him in three months, but I have reached out to him. I did write him an email and said I hope that he was well. I don't even know when that was, like maybe a month ago, and he never responded, so. Um, yeah. Um, what do you think about oil cleansers? So I think it's important to do a double cleanse. So an oil cleanser is normally you put an oil cleanser on to get rid of all of your makeup and all of the extra sebum and just to clean your skin. Then you wash that off. Then you use normally a foam cleanser. I do think it's important to use an oil cleanser. Um, do I use one every single day? No, I don't. When I wake up, I normally just use one type of cleanser. When I have been wearing makeup, I will always do an oil cleanser first just to get rid of all of the makeup. Do I think it's important to do an oil cleanser every day? It really depends, sorry my nose is itchy, on your skin type. Because if you have really oily skin, then yes, you should do that to get rid of all of the sebum. Especially if you wake up and your skin feels oily, that's not the moisturizer from the night before. That's already absorbed into your skin. That's normally just extra sebum and oil from just sleeping. So if you find that you wake up and you're super oily, yes, I would do that. However, if you find that your skin is getting too stripped, then don't. Then, you know, everybody's different. Everyone's skin is different. So your pH balance is gonna be different. So just try it, and if you find that doing a double cleanse is good for your skin and you're finding that you're not really dry and you're finding that you're not breaking out as much, totally do a double cleanse question. Do you have any productive ways on how to utilize slash organize time throughout the week? Um, well, I definitely have a calendar. I have an actual schedule that I carry with me. It's not on my phone. I, you know, write it out. For me, I like writing out schedules and I like writing out to-do lists. So I find that I make a to-do list on a daily basis. So I'll say, okay, today I have to do this, this, and this. And if I don't do those things, I don't like penalize myself. I just put those for the next day. Like tomorrow, I'm sleeping over my friend Julie's house in Boston. So I have to pack. I have to mail something. I have to go pick up more dog food. So I utilize my time by what do I absolutely have to do like I have to pack I have to pick up dog food I have to mail this letter then there's other things like I have to do something for the DMV but it's not due until the 16th so I have that on my list but if I don't do it tomorrow then I know okay I can do it in a few days and it'll be fine um I think that's really about it for things that I organize with okay next um, this person said, could you do a video on growing up in Massachusetts? What was it like to do there? Was there to, what was there to see? And the teenager slash younger adult years as well. That would be very interesting. Much love from your fan, Milo. Well, thank you, Milo. So I grew up in Massachusetts. How was it? It was kind of boring. Um... Yeah, it was really kind of boring. So I went to a boarding school, so I lived at school during the school year. So during the summer, I didn't really know many people 
where I lived was kind of rural so it wasn't like I had a bunch of friends that lived around me so I would have enjoyed if I had more friends that lived closer you know I would have loved if I could have walked on the street and had friends to hang out with I didn't have that luxury and I never really got along with my siblings so during the summer I spent a lot of time by myself I spent a lot of time watching TV I was in beauty pageants which I really like put myself into and I got myself really into pageants so I put a lot of time and energy in practicing for my routines for beauty pageants but yeah I spent a lot of time just watching TV during the summer I wish I had had friends that were closer but I really didn't um, what was it like being a teenager so when I got a car it definitely was an improvement because where my parents live is this small town that's kind of far away from everything like the closest fast food I think is like 20 minutes so when I got a car it was a lot nicer because I could actually drive to my friends I could drive places that if my parents didn't want to take me so definitely once I had a car and I was a teenager it was better but still really boring like there wasn't a lot to do um yeah I mean you could go to the beach. When I was younger, my friends and I would go to the beach at night and walk around, but I was never into, I didn't drink in high school or do drugs or anything, but I know a lot of people in Massachusetts do because it's boring, so there's like not much for them to do, so I do know a lot of the kids do get into drinking and drugs. I didn't personally, um, but I can see why that would happen because there is like really not a lot to do. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Okay, um, I was wondering if you could do some advice on confidence and not caring about what others think about you. All right, so confidence. I have to say that my biggest tip for being confident is nobody is confident all the time. So if you do not feel confident, every day that's normal you know I don't think that anybody wakes up and they're like I am Beyonce you know I don't think Beyonce wakes up and it's like I am Beyonce you know I think that um sorry my eyelashes keep connecting um we all have things that we are self-conscious about and we all have things that bother us about ourselves and sometimes, you know, there's nothing you can do about that. Sometimes there is, you know, maybe if you, you know, have something that's wrong with you, maybe you want to get a nose job or you want to get something done to your face or you want to fix something, um, maybe that'll make you more confident, but really how you feel inside is more so important. So I definitely think working on yourself as well as working on your exterior you know when you, when I feel when I look good I feel good definitely but even you could be the most beautiful person in the world and maybe no, be lacking confidence so my advice for being confident is look good feel good but also focus on what's bothering you is it something internal is it something that is external do you have maybe friends around you that aren't the best friends like why are you feeling not confident so if it's something you can change, change it. If it's something you can't change, work around making it better for yourself. So even if you can't change it, even if maybe you have like a really big nose and you can't afford plastic surgery, maybe you can contour or just own it. Own your nose or own the thing that you're bothersome about and not caring what others think of you. I think for me personally, I have never, not never, I shouldn't say never cared, but so I'm dyslexic. So I grew up going to a regular high school, not high school, a regular middle school and not being able to read and having all the kids around me, you know, start to read and start to write and I couldn't read and write and I didn't know what was wrong with me. and. I think that is when I really started developing into this person of you're not me I am me I'm the only one that dictates how I feel so if you want to talk about me 
talk about me. I don't care. There's this Heidi Klum quote that says, what other people think about me is none of my business. And I really feel that that's so true. If somebody wants to go on social media and bash you, or if somebody in real the real world wants to come up and bash you, let them let them. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what they say. It doesn't matter what they think. You know, like sometimes it sucks because, you know, people will say rumors about you. Like I had somebody say that I slept with a producer. It never happened. But that rumor, still people comment on videos like, oh, did you sleep with a producer? And it's so crazy, you know? So sometimes like that stuff bothers me because it's like once a rumor is out there, it's out there. But at the end of the day, who cares? You know, like who cares what anybody thinks about you? How you feel about you is all that matters. This person said, I want to hear a story time about your best moments on After Buzz and don't forget all the tea. That's a really good, um, it's a really good question. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm going to do that, but I think that's going to have to be its own video. So I will definitely do a story time about my best moments on After Buzz and I will not forget the tea, but I think that's going to have to be its own. Next, do you have any story times on dating? Funny stories, please. Okay, I actually have a dating story that I just posted. So you guys should go check that out. Next, do you have anything you took from the Bad Girls Club? Oh, I already did this. I actually did that in another video, stuff I stole from the Bad Girls Clubhouse. All right, so I think that's all of my questions. I hope you guys like this video. I will talk to you later. Bye.